welcome back to Cooking with the Jacobs. I have today again another slow cooker chart for you. And this time it's a fun one. This time we get to make some Chinese food. We're going to make what I call my beef chop stewy. So take on a beef stew with some Chinese flavors mixed in with it. So today what I have is again a package of baby carrots, about a heart or so of um, celery chopped up pretty coarsely, two peppers chopped up coarsely, about three or so uh, big green onions chopped up nice, about four big mushrooms again chopped up nice. Um, this is the fun part. This is where you can cho you choose your your additional flavors. So we have today some bok choy which I bought fresh from the market yesterday. <clears throat> I have a can so far <laughs> we kind of like that in this house of the baby corn whole baby corns we have one full package of of bean sprouts ready to go and we may add a, some additional bean sprouts we have about a head or so a big full head or so of broccoli that we're going to add in at the end and we also have some other fun things we have a can of sliced bamboo shoots and we also have a can of sliced water chestnuts. All right, and we'll get into the additional spices that I have here in a minute. So here is our slow cooker today. Just trying a little bit of a better setup here. Let me know if you can see things just a little bit better today. Um, but so we have our roast, which we got from the market again yesterday. And I'm gonna put that in the slow cooker, do a quick wait here. Okay, and like we did the other day, as we need our liquids with this one, especially with all the vegetables, we're going to put some beef stock at the bottom. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but just enough to cover basically the bottom of the slow cooker here, because we're going to add some other fun liquids to this. Soy sauce. Of course, can't have Chinese cooking without soy sauce. And this is about, gotta think this is really salty, so you need maybe a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. This is a fun one, I like this stuff. Hoisin sauce. Okay, this is similar to if you were adding, if this was a regular beef stew, you would probably add Worcestershire sauce or whatever, however you say that word. <laughs> Everybody says it a little different, I think. Um, but this is kind of like that substitute if you were in more Chinese cooking. So hoisin sauce. And it's just a little bit sweeter. And again, we're going to add just a little, a little bit drizzle on top of the, of the meat too. Just a touch thing about this kind of cooking is that you're dealing with really strong flavors. You have to be careful not to have too much, especially of the soy sauce, because it's really, really salty. And this is the only thing we're going to add the whole thing of, a whole bottle of teriyaki sauce. Got the good stuff this time, the VH teriyaki. So right down into the bottom, and we're going to cover the whole, the whole roast as we do that. All right, so now that we got our liquids going and everything going there, we're gonna add, of course, some garlic. And I think there isn't a culture that doesn't have garlic to some capacity in their cooking. And Chinese is no different. Okay, so we're gonna start again with the harder vegetables and put them on the bottom and then work our way up. So of course, we're gonna start with our carrots. Okay, and don't worry about getting them in all evenly. They're all going to absorb every, everything that's in here. So, the celery. And our pepper. 
her purse. Oop. It's okay if they jump in the pot a little bit early, they're gonna get in there anyway. And of course our green onions. I'm going to stew all of this down during our day here. So this is something if you chop chop up your vegetables the day before, the night before. Mushrooms here. If you chop up your vegetables the night before, all you have to do, or even you can set this up the night before, put it in your slow cooker. And then all you have to do is set it out for your day, turn it on. And by the time you get home from work, this is all ready for you. And instead of stopping at your local takeout shop, which of course we still like to do, we like to support, you know, everybody's everybody's restaurants. And of course we like to go out to eat too. We don't just like to sit inside. But um, this is a way that you can make your own kind of takeout style meal at home and have it ready for when you get home. Okay, so your mushrooms are on top. Get the rest of these little bits of vegetables here. Okay. And then, of course, the next harder vegetables are these, the baby corn. And this, of course, can go right on top. All of these here, we drained really well. water chestnuts and these are gonna act like sponges too not unlike the the mushrooms do bamboo shoots haven't actually used these before but I've had them before They're pretty good in regular takeout and of course on top we have our bean sprouts Now it's getting really, really full. We've got lots of it, uh, liquids in the bottom, but it's getting really, really full. This will actually simmer right down. Okay. It'll actually simmer right down, and we can probably add a few more green sprouts in at the end. Okay, so we'll leave that for the minute because we're going to put the bok choy on top. Lots of vegetables in this one. Okay, and these are just going to steam on top. Okay, bok choy is akin to, like, say a cabbage or a... Okay, so cabbage is the best word to describe it. Okay, and it comes in a head and you just wash it off and cut it up just like this. And you can sit it right on top. Okay, we may not have enough room for everything I have today. Okay, we're going to let everything kind of stew down here, put the lid on top, and because we have so much in here, what we've got to do and cook meat, we're going to actually set this on high, and on high with the kind of fluids that we have on the bottom, you could, it would be at least good at least four hours, if not probably closer to six hours, just because there's meat in here, you've got vegetables in here, and you've got a lot of vegetables in here to cook down. Okay, so on high, about six hours or so of your day is, you know, four hours or six hours, you should be able to ha be able to come home and still have this be okay for you. If you're going any longer than that, I definitely would suggest bringing it back down to the eight hours. And you may even have to go about nine hours to ten hours by the time just to get that meat going. All right, so we'll be back again in about six hours or so just to check on this to see how it's going. And that time we may add a few more vegetables and we've got some broccoli we hopefully can add in. All right, thanks for watching us and we'll see you back soon.
welcome back to Cooking with the Jacobs. We're back to see what it looks like after about six hours of cooking or so. I'll just lift the lid and show you. Okay, so I was in just a little bit already. I took the strings off that were tying up the roast and I started just to be sure um, that it was just about ready. I started to pull apart the beef. And as you can see, just a little bit more to go in here before it's completely done. So while that's cooking, it's still on high. While it's cooking, I'm going to put a couple more things in here. So we're going to add some more vegetables to this. We're going to add a little bit more. We're going to add some broccoli. One of my favorite things, aside from almond chicken, I think almond chicken is my favorite Chinese dish, but aside from that, I think I really like beef and broccoli is probably one of my favorites, too. Okay, so we're going to let these sit on top. And while those are sitting up, we're also going to add just a little of these noodles. These are just going to steam on top. They may get a little bit soft, that's okay. We really don't want them to be too soft. We want them just, oops, yeah, that's perfect. just enough that they're going to be soft enough to bite into without getting the full crunch crunch of the noodles. So that's what we have right now. I'm just going to give this another quick turn of the hoisin sauce because we've lost a little bit of liquids here. And a little bit more garlic. We're going to leave it on high because that meat still has to cook up a little bit more. So we leave it on high. I'm going to cook it up and leave it for about an hour or so. Come back and check on it. It should be just about ready by then. Hi, welcome back to Cooking to Jacobs. Um, today my wife's prepared. It's beef chop stewy. Beef chop stew, so Chinese food. Yes, it's basically Chinese food here. Better than a slow cooker. So this is what we have as it came out of the slow cooker. We lifted the lid on the slow cooker. Alright. Is this a new thing we've ever done before? Have you done this before? Oh, I've done this before. So you You've can, had this before. Can you mix it up? Yeah, you can mix it up. Try to get down to the bottom. It might be a chunk we have to still pull a little bit, but. Pretty much like a vegetarian meal without, with the meat. You could have a vegetarian meal and do this exact same way. We just take out the, the meat. Sesame seeds, babe? Yes, of course. You gotta have the sesame seeds. Oh, God, I have more than that. There you go. Drop out of mine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dive in and give it a test. Alrighty. It's really, really hot, so I don't know how much I can take. Some real tender meat. Yeah, it's been going all day on high, so it should be pretty tender by now. Mm -hmm. 
Those big pieces are hot. <laughs> mm. Very look good. I like them. Thank you, love. So uh, that's our taste tester for tonight. Um, I guess stay tuned for the next video she's gonna post whenever we do it. She should have this video up hopefully by Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, from my house to yours, have a great night and uh, happy Friday.